This video is going to show you how to fix a drop stitch rather than ripping out all of your work. It applies to the stockinette. The stockinette is where you knit all one row and then you purl on the back side of those rows, thus creating bumps on one side and knit on the other. If you discover your drop stitch when you're working the purl side, turn your work over and fix it from the knit side. Working a drop stitch is much easier to do from the knit side than it is the purl side. The first thing you need to do is to identify where your drop stitch is supposed to go on your work. So in this case I can pretty much tell because there's this, these when you have big loops like this that means it ran down. When they're closed in like this that means that you just kept knitting after you already lost it. So we're going to show you both ways to fix it which is the same just one's tighter than the other. Um, so the first thing you have to do is identify where it goes. So I can see it here, so I'm going to follow the row of V's right next to the, to the drop stitch, follow the row of V's up, and it leads me to this stitch. And follow the rows of, row of V's to the right of it, and it leads me to this stitch. As you can see, I've already knitted over to where it needs to go. So the first thing you're going to do to fix this is grab a crochet hook. If you don't have a crochet hook, this can be done with knitting needles, toothpicks, your fingers. Um, if it's way down in your work, it's going to be a lot more difficult. Just tedious more than anything else. So the, what you want to do is grab your loop and you want to make sure that when you put your crochet hook in there that you are not twisting your loop at all. So you want it to sit just like it normally would and take your crochet hook and poke it through the drop stitch. So in order to get this drop stitch worked all the way up, we will be working it and making new stitches with the horizontal bars that lie between the V's that come from what's on the right needle and the left needle. So to work the horizontal bar and make a new stitch with your crochet hook inside the center of the drop stitch, go underneath the lowest bar that's hanging loose Sometimes you kind of have to look, especially if it's not a ran stitch. Like, see that purple one's really kind of small, but the white one's rather large. So we're just going to go underneath it, and with the crochet hook, pull the bar through the drop stitch, and you've just made one loop. Now I don't have to reposition the crochet hook at all. I can continue to work the next bar in the same way. So the next bar is the purple one, and I'm going to go underneath and grab the bar and pull it through and do it again and again and again until you're at the very top bar and the, if, if you've worked past where you dropped a stitch it's going to be tight your bar will be tight so it'll work its way out when we're done so we're going to grab that last one there so underneath the bar and pull it through the loop. And you can see I'm kind of struggling with that a little bit. I'm going to give it a little extra wiggle room by pulling on it. Now I want to put it onto my knitting needle. Now, if the, your natural instinct is just, just to drop it right on there like this. Well, you can do that, but then it's not sitting the right way. And what I mean by sitting the right way is that you have two legs on a stitch when it's sitting up on your needle you have a left leg and you have a right leg and this is the left leg. The right leg is the one that's supposed to be in front and the left leg is supposed to be in back. So essentially I have twisted the stitch. So to fix it I'll just pull it off and turn it around. Now the right leg is in front where it's supposed to be. And you can tell it's the right leg because see the bar that's in between there it leads in and that's the first leg is the right leg. Okay, so I've just completed putting the stitch back on and then I can knit it and it's a little tight and I'll just knit to the end here and we'll show you what it looks like. If you kind of stretch your stitches a little bit where it was supposed to go. All your stitches will just sort of make room and you won't even be able to tell 
that you ever dropped a stitch and you didn't pull your hair out by ripping it all out.